Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest forecast heading into this Wednesday. Yesterday, temperatures were in the mid to upper 70s in some areas. A little bit cooler today, but more seasonal. Our most comfortable day of the week with the light winds. And yeah, while well, we do have to battle some clouds at times, it's not going to be bad at all. So hopefully you can get outside and enjoy it. As I mentioned, winds are not going to be a factor at all for today. But they will become a factor starting tomorrow, lasting through the weekend. Wind gusts out of the southeast at times could be approaching 45 miles per hour. We'll keep an eye on that. I think some of these uh, stronger winds here on this model is from storms. So I think in general we'll be at about 30 to 40 miles per hour uh, on uh just the windy day that we'll have and we'll continue with the strong winds friday through the weekend as well meanwhile we're continuing to monitor the risk of severe weather tomorrow into tomorrow night and yes this does include really the entire time frame there isn't one particular time frame where i'm keeping my eye on for the potential for severe weather tomorrow or tomorrow night but we'll take a look at supercasts on uh, when we might have a little bit higher potential for storms in the area and then for friday into well Friday night's going to be dry. I think it's mainly going to be during the day Friday. Uh, the storms do wind down Friday evening. Once the sun goes down, I think the chance of storms are going to be very minimal. And just a reminder, Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Goodwin will be out in Council Grove tomorrow at TCT Broadband Solutions in Council Grove there. And uh, programming weather radios from 11 to 1. So head on out there. Make sure to have your weather radio ready to go. No guarantee that there will be any sold there. And if there is, no guarantee that there will be any left by the time you get there. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, Linden next Tuesday and Concordia next Thursday. Those are the last three that we have scheduled right now. Can there be more scheduled? Yes. But don't count on it. So please do yourself a favor. It, it really isn't hard. If you can get some tech person to look at it, if you're not a tech person, if you can find someone, if you're you know, not tech savvy, it, it's really, really easy to program now, especially newer radios because they're based off of the county name. It's not a code, a number code that you have to look up like they used to be. It's not like that anymore. So if you get a brand new one, at least most of them, they're going to tell you what the county is. And so it's really easy to program. For today, partly to mostly cloudy. Yes, some peaks of sun are possible. Yes, some sprinkles are possible. But for the most part, it does remain dry. I can completely rule out a few spotty showers and thunderstorms tonight. But I think the chance really starts to pick up tomorrow, especially after sunrise. And through the morning and early afternoon is when I think we'll have our strongest and highest probability of rainfall and thunderstorms. Could this activity be severe? Yes. So definitely something that uh, we'll be keeping a very close eye on. But this is what I'm going to be watching for on this particular computer model. Some models don't have this coming through like this model has, but this would be the higher potential for severe weather. Now, how much of an impact will that morning activity have on this evening severe weather? Will, just, will this just be heavy rain? Or will there be severe weather accompanying it? That's going to be something that we'll be watching closely. But here comes around as you head towards Thursday evening through the area. And then Thursday night into Friday morning, it does dry out a little bit before these storms start to fire up again in the mid to late afternoon hours before weakening again once the sun goes down. So several rounds of rain are expected. The uh, graph was the one that you just saw. So you can see several areas getting at least a couple inches worth of rainfall. The other computer model is not quite as heavy, but still showing us some locally heavy rainfall in several locations. So it is going to be a rainy next couple of days to round out the work week. And more rain is on the way over the weekend, including late Saturday afternoon through Sunday, especially in the morning. And then it does dry out at least for Monday and Tuesday before more storms start to fire up again late Wednesday afternoon. Just a quick check of our European model through next Tuesday. And it is showing just a little bit less rain for much of northeast Kansas. A little bit higher potential for the rainfall down in southeastern Kansas. But the GFS, uh, again, is still showing... There we go. Takes a while for some reason. It is still showing the southeastern half of the viewing area getting into that couple inches worth of rainfall through next Tuesday as we round out the month of April. So this weather, weather, weather pattern, weather, weather pattern does continue. Probability of one of the normal conditions in uh, all three time frames here, the A6 to 10, 8 to 14, 3 to 4 week outlook. So it does look like we're going to end April. We could potentially end April above average precipitation wise because so far it is dry. 
But uh, we are looking at those several rounds of rain, of course. We are going to continue to monitor all these rounds closely with respect to severe weather. But at the very least, we will be monitoring the locally heavy rainfall. I think Friday is going to end up being our windiest day. That's when we could have wind gusts close to 50 miles per hour. Otherwise, I think for the most part, 30 to 40 miles per hour, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday are certainly possible. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, as I mentioned, take advantage of today with the light winds. Yes, we had the clouds, but that's all right. We will take the light winds and the seasonal temperatures. As if we have the cloud cover, it's going to be a beautiful day. Have a great day.